Well, welcome back, and thank you for joining us in the last episode of this season. A season where we have finished third. That's right, there are two games left, but we have secured third spot, and as a reminder, Motherwell are too far behind us, even if they win both of their remaining games, to catch us. So, the next two games don't matter. So what we're going to do is we're going to fully rotate the team, get all of our youths playing these last two games. We'll probably quick sim them, and that way then we can get on into Season 3. So here's our lineup for our Rangers game. We've got Aweer up front, Aus, Lennox, McMillan across the middle, Dewa and Leslie in CDM, Pollock, Hutchinson, Nelson and Marin across the back, and Mandana in goal. Okay, so the end result there was a 2-0 defeat from Rangers, expected. Um, not bad, well at least it wasn't 8-0, but um, good run for the boys. Okay, we have a scouting report from Irvine. Uh, McGowan, no, it's not going to cut it. Um, Boyle, yeah, let's get him in. Uh, McCluskey, yeah, let's get him in as well. And then Cash, sorry buddy. Okay, so here's our game against Hibernian. It's the last one of the season, and we're putting up front Guy. Across the middle, we've got McKinley, Dunbar, and Lennox. CDMs, we've got Leslie and Marin. And then across the back line, we've got Jeffrey, Nelson, Zero, and Pollock, with Newman between the sticks. Okay, so the result of that game ended up as a 2-1 defeat. But it was nice to see that McKinley managed to scrap himself a little goal there. So as a recap, at the end of the season we did finish third uh, on 68 points there. And Motherwell did manage to claw a few points back on us. But this is a, an excellent result and the most points that we've been able to uh, score in a, in a one season. Uh, very tight at the top there between Celtic and Rangers. Uh, very, very similar and very good quality teams to, to play against. But next season, we're coming after them. So at the end of the season, Shanklin absolutely destroyed the goal tally there. Uh, 28 goals is some achievement. Uh, can he repeat it next season? Let's hope so. Assists, Harks, he took the cake there as well. Well done, boys. And good to see Rolls and Chabrol up there in the top five. From a clean sheet point of view, not the greatest actually. Seagrass didn't have an amazing season, only six clean sheet. Good to see we didn't get any reds this season. We did really, really well. And in the yellow department, uh, Fuchs doing what Fuchs does best. He picked up a three yellow cards throughout the season. Okay, so we've just had word that Patrick Adamson is a little bit disgruntled in the Youth Academy. We're going to give him a shot. We'll see what we can do with him next season. Pretty low level there with only 46, uh, but getting him out on loan, maybe that's the best thing to do. At the same time, Gordon Montgomery is wanting to get out and play some good football, so why not? We'll, we'll sign him up and get him out. Okay, and in other news, Lukash here is unhappy, so we're going to pull him out. And also Hamilton has uh, shared his uh, concerns. So let's, uh, let's pull these guys into the first team. Let's see what we can do. Probably got our last report from Irvine in Republic of Ireland. We've got a few boys here to have a look at. So no, we're not going to bring in Flood. No, we're not going to bring in Kenny. No, we're not going to bring in Harkin. And no, we're not going to bring in Carol. And Guin, no, sorry mate. Okay, just to summarise where we are with transfer deals for the end of this season, we have been able to make a few acquisitions and transactions. So Paulette will be leaving the club, he's off to Rosenborg. We managed to sell him though for £720,000. You know, in all, in all honesty, he's played so well for our team, but we just have other players now that are able to take his place. And we don't want him sitting on the bench. He seems to have still quite a lot of potential uh, in elsewhere. So off he goes, and all the best. On the free agents, we have been able to pull in a right back. Remember, we removed Smith. We sold him mid-season, and we have no one to back up Robson. So we're bringing Pembele in. He's a decent looking young guy. He is uh, 70 overall and he's worth almost 3 million. So he's got potential. This player came from the pool of players we scouted, which were first team quality and showing great potential. So hopefully he will develop into a nice young 
player for us. Diwa, he's off on loan to Rochdale. That'll be good for him to get some first team football. Zero is going out on loan for the season to Al Hilal. And then finally, we we're able to bring in on from the free agents Bringola. He is an absolutely fantastic looking cam. Um, with Paulette leaving and the boys that we have, this guy is going to love playing in our squad. So this is the last look of our squad we're going to get before the new season. So we have some promotions from the Youth Academy that we need to make sure are on the loan list. So we have Adamson, we have uh, Lukash here, we have Montgomery, you know, he needs to get out as well. We have McMillan, Awea, Diwa, Pollock, Gee, Hutchinson, Leslie, Hamilton, Marin, Ous, Dunbar, and we've still got Baird out on loan. I think he's on a two-year deal, so this will be his last season on that deal. He'll come back at the end of the next season. We've got McKinley. We need to send him out. No, he's out. That's good. Fotheringham, Penman, Nelson, Lennox, Jeffrey. Those are the boys who were, who are on the loan list. Um, so let's see what happens in the new season. So having a look at the, so looking at our top team players, we have Fuchs, who is on 76. He has grown incredibly over the time we've been working with him. We've brought in Bringola. We have Shanklin on 73. We've got Cardoso on 72. Biscuits also on 72. Alciva up to 71 now, which is amazing. We brought in Pimbele. We've got Bolton. That's going to be an excellent battle there at right back for their top spot. For Robson, we do have um, Benitez, don't we, uh, as his backup up to 70 there. Parks, we know, was already at 70. Valera, 69. Benitez at 69. Uh, Rock, 68. Epere, 68. Rolls, 68. Lan, 68. Chabrol, 68. Makiki, 68. Seacrest, 68. Yexiv has come up to 67, which is fantastic. I wonder if we should be starting him as our primary keeper this season and sell uh, Seagrest. That may be what we do. Fitzwater, 67. Mandanda, 67. Sporle, 66. Paulette, 66, who will be leaving us at the end of the season. Uh, maybe we need to look at selling Spole, which is uh, no controversial. He has been amazing for our club. Um, love to see him grow more, but he's he's tapped out. So let's uh, let's see what we can get for him. Zero, he's off on loan. Um, he's remember he was one of our very first signings. He and Cardoso, he just did not turn out. So we put him out on loan, and he he is going out on loan. Now we hope that he can come back at the end of the season in the very high 60s. He's got potential to, so there should be no reason why not. Wojtek, Wojcik, sorry, Wojcik has come back from loan at 65. He's grown five. That is phenomenal. So he could be our future right back, centre back, or left back. Uh, he's only 19 years of age. Powers, hoping to sell him. He's 31 now. He hasn't made the first team for a long while. Maymet, he's out of contract. He'll be leaving at the end of the season. Chalmers, he's on the transfer market. He hasn't played a game. We've got to get rid of him. Newman, he's one of the young boys. He's on the transfer market. We don't have a spot for him either. And then we get on it down into our youth players. So that's the end of the season. And believe it or not, they are delighted with Jonathan's performance this season. Clearly, as his assistant manager, we have done a great job as well. And they say excellent aligning to the club's culture and vision. Clearly, we didn't meet all of our objectives. We still have some that are open, but I'm sure that they'll give us some new ones in this new season. Let's get into it. Here are our objectives for the new season. Hold on to your seats, people. Okay, so we've got to reach the group stage. Again, a stretch, but we've done it. We did it this season. We uh, defied all expectations and managed to, remember, beat Everton. And we did amazing in the group. So we know we can do that. We don't have to leave the group. We just have to reach the group stage. For the Scottish Cup, we have to reach the semi-final. Now, we were only able to make the quarter-final last time. But I think we failed at that by getting beat by Celtic. So that's going to be a stretch for us this season. And then finally, we just have to qualify for European competition. So again, a top three finish. 
It's not top four, it's top three, so we've got to be careful. Youth development, we've fi we fixed our short term. We've got no more short term objectives. We still have 27 players with one season left to get 10 matches under two youth players' belts. So what we're going to do is for the first 10 games of this season, pick two players, get them in. Brand exposure, get five wins in away matches this season. That should be pretty easy. And then finally, we have our financial objective, which is to make 4.5 million profit from youth player sales this season. So we've got a lot to do this season. I don't know if that's attainable, but we'll do our best with the boys that we've got. Okay, and so the board have given Jonathan 7.2 million pounds to play with in the transfer budget, which is phenomenal. We were able to get four, almost five, from the Europe run last season, so we've been given an extra couple. Okay, so for the new season, we are going to bring in a five-star, five-star youth scout. Uh, we're going to bring in Douglas McLennan. Uh, he is Scottish. We're going to send him out to Scotland to get all the good boys. Off you go, and welcome to the club, mate. So here's what we're going to do with McLennan. We're going to send him off to Scotland. We have, unfortunately, had to let go then of Irvine and Maggie, but this is where it all matters. We've got nine months in Scotland. We're going to pull in as many good players as we can. Okay, so this is where it all gets real. We have to say goodbye to a bunch of players, some who are permanently leaving and some who are leaving for the season on loan. So Zero, he leaves to go out on loan. Diwa leaves on loan. Paulette, farewell son, enjoy the future mate. Jeffrey's out on loan. Mamet, we didn't renew his contract because we don't need him. So um, he's gone to join Krakowia. Oh, all the best buddy. Okay, so just before we wrap up the episode, it has been a busy preseason. We have managed to release Powers for almost half a million. He's off to Puebla. Seagrest, we have sold for a million. Pretty decent, because now we've got two excellent players who will come up through the ranks. We want to thank Seagrest. He has been amazing between the sticks for the last two seasons. And finally, we almost got about two million for Apare. He's off to Bristol City. It's not that we don't like these players. They all have just hit their potential. They're just not growing anymore. And we have other players that will fill their boots. Well, that's going to wrap up the episode. Jonathan has been so busy working on preparing the team for the new season. We hope you've enjoyed what you've been seeing. We have a lot of potential this season. We've got to get busy. We've got to get the boys fit. And we've got to start winning these games. So until I see you in the next episode, behave.